Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for another Kickstarter replay cast. I'm LD. He's Gods. Let's hop into it. The game is underway, and yeah, actually starts with a pause. So we are a bit. We this like just fits into our time window. So we're gonna fast forward through the pauses and zoom, zoom. The beauty of replays. Yeah, there we go. But uh, this is for Baldurk. So I'm okay. He is big, playing as Baldurk. Big thanks to Baldurk for uh, contributing to the BTS Kickstarter and giving us this replay to cast for you guys. Also helping us fill some of the time here on the stream. Yeah, it's much appreciated. I'm just at eight times speed here. Uh, you're actually Whoa. a bit ahead of me. Whoa! It's game started. More pauses. Okay, so I guess we got to get synced back up. I'm at 535. Right, I'm eight seconds ahead of you. All right, I'm just going to play it now. Seven, eight, nine, 40, 41, 42, 43. All right. All right, we're good. We're underway. I'll, I'll say we're good. <laughs> okay, we're close <laughs> enough. If we're slightly desynced, then oh well, but... Yeah, this is going to be our hero, our our hero, and the man that we'll be, keep our, be keeping our eyes on is Baldurk on the Shadow Shaman. Offlane Shadow Shaman, normally very tough. Look, this is Shadow Shaman AA lane. They got the the shackles into Cold Feet. They get some bonus damage from the Chilling Touch as well. It's okay. There's a jungle. There's a jungle. <laughs> They're up against the Solo Naga Siren, so I think they actually do okay here. And this is a jungle lone druid who did not get a stout shield and starts with a Reign of Regent on his hero. This is some suboptimal jungle on Druid, I must say. This is like your uh, BTS. Malik cast. puts it on the bear. Well, that's a good adjustment. Okay, I like that a lot better. Uh, giving it some extra regen here. Look at some of these other lanes. We have a Beastmaster with a Bracer first in the off lane for the Radiant team. In a dual lane with a Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Panda loves this. So he gets levels and then you oh, just start yeah. clapping them and slow their attack speed, slow their move speed. This lane looks pretty good. Actually, we should introduce all the rest of the players. So it's Dr. Beanut Peanut going to be playing your Naga. Siren, Sh Snorlax, who is... Playing the snoozer role as your jungle oh, slow druid. Well. He might just be giving up first blood here. He's going to get hexed up. Baldurk is going to deliver. Doesn't use the shackles, but doesn't need to in the end because the cold feet just barely procs and then turns oh. around to hit the bear. He wanted the bear and the hero kill. Yeah, like that's that's some greed there. <laughs> I got to say. Want to kill the bear to get the kill and then get yeah your double gold. But. Yeah, your your three hundred gold. Actually, it's probably the old bounty because this is an older patch. Oh yeah, but nonetheless, would have been some nice gold. Wow. Good thinking, if a little greedy. Yeah. Elsewhere, to finish, finish introducing the Raiden team, Gara is on this solo mid Tinker. So uh, we'll see in the top lane, Q-Bird on the Bounty Hunter, and Ayala, Ayala come back on the Beastmaster for the Radiant squad. Still got a clarity here. He's looking good. And on the dire side, you have Dennis Shitshow. That's a hell of a name. <laughs> Playing the panda. Hovel Dipshit. On the, <laughs> these, guys are, these guys must be friends on the Disruptor. <laughs> Zoe on your mid. Well, it sounds like a very good clean name after yeah. Hovel Dipshit on the solo mid Invoker. Uh, Baldurk on the Shadow Shaman, our hero. And then Sirius Attemptor, who will be playing the Ancient Apparition. So yeah. it's a mid invoker going Exhort build. This is great when you have a Shadow Shaman. Oh, yeah. There'll be a lot of potential for setting up these Sun Strikes around the map. I'm most excited to see Brumas. I haven't seen Brumas in a long time. It's one of those heroes which you don't get to see in competitive Dota anymore, but I kind of wish we got to see as back in that solo mid roll. So Lone Druid has decided the jungle's too hard. Time to come yeah. to the lane. <laughs> and he's just auto attacking and missing the last hits as well. So. Perhaps not quite the highest level pub we've ever seen, but fun nonetheless. Yeah, we'll see what uh, Snorlax can pull here. Bal Baldurk and Sirius Attempter, they've already got one kill to start things off. That's Boots on the Ancient Apparition. Baldurk giving the kill away to the Ancient Apparition. He's a very uh That's a team friendly. player right there. Oh, That's yeah. a support Shadow Shaman. And he's got a TP scroll, so ready Ooh. to maneuver his way towards top if if necessary. I would like to see some points in Aethershock. It's your only nuke, and it does scale quite well. Yeah. But. With Sunstrike and Cold Snap or Cold Feet, they may have enough to get kills regardless. Yeah, I think he's like, let's just get maximum disable here. But uh, maximum support. Yes. <laughs> I do not approve of this build because I am a selfish, greedy player, and I want all the kills. LD likes to yeah kill. So you just need the one point though. At level one, it does a ton of damage. It's only the single target, so you just need the one target. It scales well it? though. It scales yeah. very well. Actually, gets over doubles by the time it's maxed. Yeah. The so Baldurk runs oh. in. He will get netted for his trouble, but don't forget, there's a Sunstrike here. Well, Baldurk on the run, he's going to hex up Dr. Peanut, plenty of time to run away and disengage. And Snorlax snoozes with inside the cold feet for a little while once again. So I'm not I'm not so sure about these Radiant lanes, i got to say. This is, yeah, your suboptimal lane at its best. Very, very dubious indeed. Tinker versus Invoker, probably the uh, most standard la lane out there. But right now, all of the la other lanes, very unorthodox. Beastmaster laning with the Bounty Hunter when he should have maybe gone bottom and just let the Lone Druid jungle. I mean, sure, Beastmaster and Nagasa are not a conventional lane, but I think you want to get Bounty Hunter that offlane solo. Still a walking courier four minutes in, struts towards the top lane, and then we'll maneuver back. The Necronomicon Warrior Courier, apparently. <laughs> yeah, there are some interesting bugs with these older replays. Oh, 
This <laughs> the bear Sorry. is NPC Dota Rattle Trap Rocket. <laughs> it's flying now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> if bear, as though Lone Druid it wasn't already imbalanced. This I'm sure Admiral Bulldog would love this buff. Flying bear. Flying bear. Jesus. Who needs face boots anymore when you just go directly over everything? This is too much. You probably dodge a lot of spells too that only hit ground units. All right. That would be pretty. Gives you gives you flying vision. Can yeah. <laughs> get a <laughs> scout gank coming in just use like over trees. You never get fogged as well when you have flying vision. So yeah, can't get fogged. Oh, so like needs to be careful. He Cold feet, is there a hex? Oh, and Snare comes out, and they're actually gonna maybe change target here. Peanut with the illusions. Bolduck man, you wanna run away from those illusions, and he's doing just that. Sunstrike flies through, it's gonna hit illusions. That was inadvisable. Dubious. Sunstrike. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of dubious plays this game, but so some fun ones too. Alright, well five minutes in so far, and uh Baldurk and his uh lane laning partner in the Yankee Apparition have gotten themselves a first blood, but since then been fairly quiet. Well, it's got himself I'm, up to 700 gold, so... I'm just waiting for him to hit level 6 and show off his war trapping skills. Oh, yeah. Because you know, these heroes aren't going to have many answers for it, at least for now. Naga can actually uh, mirror image out of them, but right, Lone Druid won't have such luck. He has listened. He's got that point in Aether Shock now, so we can start seeing some uh, proper Secure kill securing. Yeah. Should probably heal up. Serious Attempter should maybe start being a team player and stop being a KS. Yeah, player. look, he got, the, he got the last hit for the kill. He's going to go for an urn here as well, so he's got enough money for it. So urn's going to be coming out for the Ancient Apparition. You don't need the, that region anymore. Yeah, give him something. Throw your boy Shadow Shaman the bone. Come on already. Snorlax charging in again with his one point and rabbit. Going to work on Baldurk, who starts to drop. Uh -oh. Gets that up. Baldurk, please. Baldurk, no! He falls to the Riptide. Well, I blame Ancient Apparition for not giving him any region on that. He tangos up himself afterwards. Like, yeah, I on. do blame this ancient emperor. That's very selfish play. Well, and he, he should and he should be going base anyway because he's out of mana. Yeah. So, I I do not approve. My boy Baldurk not getting a fair treatment here. Zoe. Now he walks in just to watch Zoe lay in mid. Yeah. Not ideal. Yeah, Zoe's rotated. So the invoker deciding he's had enough of this middle lane. Tinker just maxing out laser and doing a ton of damage and harassed him, which has caused too many problems. But now the shackle is going to come through on an invisible peanut. Actually, was hexed up. Now a sun strike, just a little bit off the mark. They need one more auto tech phase boots. Could allow Zoe to run down Doctor Peanut. It'll cancel the salve. He needs two more auto tech Snorlax. Sending his hero back in, not trying to run it away, and in the end, the tri-link fails to get a single solitary kill. Yeah, that, unfortunately, the, these invoker sun strikes have been uh, a bit. All right, this guy a bit lacking. I don't like this top guy. lane. Meanwhile, Brewmaster has hit level six, and this he pops an ultimate. Sentry ward is there, and well, nice little glitch. There is a sentry ward here. Hobble dub shit coming prepared, and delivers. Oh, Stuffs his opponent into the hovel. Hovel dipshit and Dennis shit show showing it showing everyone how it's done. <laughs> These guys might be the heroes. It's like your Turner and Hooch of uh, of laning partners. <laughs> I approve. So Snorlax still in the lane should not be in the lane. Really shouldn't be in the lane, but he is in the lane. <laughs> By the way, this catapult is radiance ancient. <laughs> Radiant so when this sure. catapult dies, this game will end. It's actually a very short replay, guys. Yeah, this is just the range barracks here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the fountain. Have you Rage. ever played Stratego? I have not played Stratego. Yeah, Purge Purge chimes in from across the room. He says it's a wonderful game. It is. So the way the game works is you have a bunch of different pieces with different strengths, but your opponent can't see which piece it is okay. uh, until they actually try to engage it. So yeah, this is like they don't know. You don't know. What if you didn't know which building was the ancient? You just have to find out as the game goes along. Well, another gank on Baldock here at the bottom lane. He's uh, level four okay. bounty hunter, just rolling around. At least he's okay. giving Beastmaster a solo lane, I guess. Yeah. But really, it should be the Beastmaster ganking and the bounty yeah, hunter Beastmaster getting level six. Beastmaster goes level six, so he's got Roar up. He needs to start ganking. Big war trap by Baldur. He's going to turn oh. this one around. Dr. Peanut should drop to the cold snap, the cold feet, rather. And then the Sunstrike comes in. Kill, secure, Get the attempted. He gets the bagel. Gara, not sure if he wants to run or fight. Baldur also killed the Spirit Bear there with those Serpent Mords, so getting himself a good chunk of gold, a kill as well as a bear. Where is his current gold? Sitting on 460. There's your uh, there's your your magic wand, nicely done. And once right. again, Zoe showing himself to be a very selfish, bad team player. Look, he's going for the kill secure. He's zero zero zero. This invoker is yet to actually. He's getting creeps though. He's got forty two CS. The next closest is a twenty three lone druid on the enemy team. Five, yikes. That's uh, that's pretty damn they, good for this game. They put a lot of pressure on uh this bottom lane to prevent any of these raiding heroes getting last hits, but. Brewmaster maybe a bit lacking in farm at the top lane, but Mr. Dennis Shitshow and Hubble Dipshit have been going for uh, <laughs> they've been going for kills, not for uh, last hits. Phase boots panda, 
not gonna have any mana for his ult claps combo for most of this game. But nah, nah, face boots is fine. You, rushing face boots is, is pretty standard, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Isla come back, gets roared. And, well, we just see the clap oh, here. There's no oh, mana these. for it, though. Maybe just an auto attack will bring him down. One more plink. These, Once again, Zoe. These, Zoe. These sun strikes. Like, Zoe. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Too much. This, this is like actually Zoe Deschanel playing Please Invoker right now. Yeah, I, I, I miss when you used to be able to report people when you weren't in the game. <laughs> so you could just, like, if you're streaming, just be like, everyone report this guy right now. Yeah. Like, Den Dendi would do that with, you know, thousands of viewers and... I'm we, pretty sure that guy got into low priority after that. We did it when uh, Fumofu threw with anti mage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did it on a tournament stream, which is and Fumofu downright got a, unprofessional. He got like a good like thousand or two couple thousand reports. <laughs> <laughs> did he end up in low priority? Oh yeah, yeah, he was in low priority for a long, for long time. Like six months. <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant. I regret nothing. Oh, he deserved it. That was the biggest, most despicable throw. That was the in game two of EG versus Fumofu's yeah. throws fan club. Yeah. In comes your bounty hunter, though, bottom lane. Serious attempt, they're about to be seriously screwed. He's got an urn here, it's not going to help with Baldur. Could drop the ward, still running. Wisely will let his Ancient Apparition retreat. Okay. I like that. Just let him die. Yeah, look, he didn't give him regen. You don't You don't owe him anything, Baldur. Yeah. Every you're man for himself. You're a hero, man. Now, right. the roaming, the roaming, wandering lone druid went towards mid and maybe looked to feed his bear to Zoe, who's just attacking it calmly. The bear just, ah, yep. Yeah, there it goes. That's 100 gold. At least it's not the new bear. No. Yeah, Please. just the I think now. Snorlax is snoozing at Look, the wheel here. He's got his Vlad's recipe. Oh, his Mask of Death, I think, is on the Spirit Bear. Oh, he can resummon it. There we go. He resummons it. Item combined. Success. He's got oh, his Vlad. All right, he combined the items. Nicely done. No points in his ulti, but hey, who needs that? This is quite a game. All I'm right. just, I'm still waiting for the big plays. Because the, the players get to choose which replay they yes. submit. So we know something special must be coming. Wow. Well. For the time being, this game, uh, just fairly standard Dyer's ganking going on for, uh, for the most part. Be Beastmaster still yet to leave his lane at top. I'm not sure what he's he's up to. He's actually maxed aura before even axes or anything else, so he wants to push. Let's and carry Beast. I like this. This is a yeah. totally legit build. You've got a Vlad's. You've got a Vlad's. Uh, well, here comes Zoe. TP's I, in top, and then yeah. cold snaps with no mana for Sunstrike, and, and just no idea what his plan is this game. Zoe, please. Zoe. <laughs> Zoe, no. Leave the carrying to Dennis shit show. This guy knows what he's doing. Yes. Well, he's almost going to phase drums. It's here, funny so. how we're, we're making fun of Zoe so much. and He is leading 56 CS here. He's <laughs> a totally legit player. The next highest being 34, which is your panda and your lone druid. So that's a, a big lead on the CS chart. We like to pick on the best player and bring them down. Cut them down. That's why we here. always flame ROTK. Yeah. He's, he's really the best player. Best player in China. Now you're roaming Tinker. Level 8. He is. Oh, he walks right by Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> then he comes back. Zoe comes back as well. He's going to get lasered in the face. The rockets come through. It does good damage. It's not enough. And now Dennis Shitshow. He sees blood. He sees machine oil in the water. Now the lone druid joins the fight. Meanwhile, Baldrick, our hero, did fall bottom lane, but it's going to be Gara trying to retreat out. Is there any kind of micro here? Well, the cyclone was used on one. The stone toss is available, but getting fog. Getting fog. Looking for the stone toss from long range from downtown. He's going to launch it. There could be a clap here from Dennis. No, no mana. But he's got phase boots. Doesn't need it. Should be able to run down Garrett. Just kidding. The run away. So our hero, Baldurk, sadly, we did miss him falling. Did not get off his ult, though. Not Dennis shit show. No, well, he's just going to waddle out of there. So he looks to be okay here. He's massive roll, not up. And, uh, well, unless you see an entangle coming in, disrupt. They're going to prevent any further chases. Nice little Thunderdome being planted. And These guys are a good team. Dennis yeah. shit show and uh Havel dipshit. <laughs> the best duo. Look, if, in this game. if we if we were like spoofing as these guys, would you want to be Hubble Hubble dipshit Dennis or Dennis shit, Dennis shit show? show. That's, I'm okay. a Dennis shit show kind of guy. All right, I'll take Hubble dipshit. <laughs> Not falter. Oh, he Tonky comes in. He drops his wards and Isla come back. But can he get the kill? No. Turns to focus. Snorlax. Snorlax now retreating out. Diving with his Vlad's bear. No boots though. Can't run anyone down. Now, we'll see Baldur get quite a bit of regen. Still Gara diving. He'll take some tower shots. The bear even blocking him a bit on the way out. And will will Baldur come in for this? No, he's going to run. Yeah, this bear is just crawling around. It's Meanwhile, bottom lane, Dr. Pina comes in. And serious attemptor in all sorts of trouble. There's a track, and there will be one or two more right clicks, and this should be a kill. That's track gold, and that will go to the Radiant Squad once again. All right, well. That's uh even game gods. It's only a fifteen hundred experience lead for the radiant. Yeah, I mean, Baldur and crew need to start looking to turn things around here. They have got this invoker with a lot of farm, but 
It's they're behind on kills a bit. Tinker still farming away towards that. Uh, well, I assume boots of travel. He's he's picked up a ring of regen, which I guess maybe a four star for your Tinker before he even gets boots of travel. I don't know. Yeah. But Considering Zoe's success rate with sun strikes this game, I just have to say I I'm not sure I approve of the max exhort first build. Look, he's gonna look. He can't hit sun strike, so he he needs to get a yule scepter to make like for the setup. That's my favorite build. Just yule scepter, sun strike, deafening blast meteor. Can't I, mess it up. I hate playing with invokers who max Sunstrike. Like, as in, like, you sh I, th I think extra you build always fine. Get you go 4-1-4. Four, four. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you need the double forward spirit as fast as possible. If you've ever watched Ice Ice Ice, like, you know how useful these things are. You do not go... Check runes, pull back creep waves, deny heroes, deny runes. Yeah. You push, you can do it all. You do not go the one one eight build or whatever it is. <laughs> Maybe if you're a sniper YOLO mode, but uh, <laughs> this guy uh, isn't even hitting Sunstrikes on heroes that are held in position, so... Yeah. I'm not a big fan. Baldrick, what? What is this BS route? Just not his day, man. Time for a rage buyback? No rage. Baldrick is a calm, cool, collected customer. If, that, if that's LD, there's definitely rage buybacks in. Yeah. And there's q -Bird. Probably gonna go down. Hobble dipshit on the case. No, he gets rooted. This bulldog bear, Snorlax. Where's the root? Where's the root? Where's the root? No root. Oh, there's your tornado. Slowing him down. The bear's got boots now. Oh, yeah. Even with boots, it's got a hundred movement speed though, apparently, so... Wait, does it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hundred movement what speed. What version... What version did the bear... Because <laughs> NPC Dota Storm Spirit Remnant has a hundred movement oh, speed, Oh, the stats you know? are all wrong. Dyer's Who knows? I am. I'm confused. The hero stats seem correct. Well, um, our friend the, friend the bounty hunter escapes and I don't know. I like how he proudly announced the two when there's an ancient apparition in the game, but I guess the ult was cooling down, so... Yeah. <laughs> Always beware. Th did you see that Reddit clip where someone announced that, uh, like, I told the three, enemy three heroes were low yeah, and then yeah. the Zeus ults and gets a triple kill? <laughs> I would just rage quit that game if my teammate did that. No, no questions asked. Why waste your time in such a game? I have better things to do. Like what? Go feed in the next game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get a fresh start, you know? Feel good about the game for a while. Alright. So Havel Dipshit, he's rotated bottom, and he's got Static Storm. And Ooh. Tornado comes in. That it's a nice level yeah. one Wex Tornado. Zoe. Pretty legit. This now the such <laughs> This, this Invoker. Zoe, like, please. This is like... We're the, trying to watch Baldark win a game here. He gets a kill in the Spirit Bear, which is the... He's being, only uh, matched by Snorlax with the... <laughs> with his constant bear feet. When you're, this is the invoker with like double everyone CS one zero zero. If you if you just st looked at this game right now, you'd be saying, hey, look, this invoker is like doing way amazing better work. than his opponents. But no, 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 <laughs> not doing not doing this well invoker. at all. He's so probably he's probably learning the hero. To be fair, but we're picking on him because he's hurting our friend Baldurk in this moment of need. Now a kinetic field and a static storm will catch too, but the glimpse sends Garrow back to safety. Finally, this drum strike connects. That one hits on Dr. Peanut. The bear, though, comes in from the backside looking oh. for Zoe. No, the song is there. Cast it immediately cancelled. And it looks like Dr. Peanut's gonna live, but Gara, not so lucky. Baldurk's on the case. He drops the ward. He's gonna find the kill. It's a bloodbath. Three Radiant Heroes fall. And only Zoe bites the dust. And Beastmaster, Good. well, he used Roar and I don't think did anything. He, he was top, I think. He wasn't actually at the fight. Possibly died of this panda. I, no. eh, maybe not. Not with point booster and shreds. This is a level one panda ultimate. This is this, you're, you're showing off good micro though. Good yeah, micro. Okay. Boulder tosses there. Immolation damage is okay. Cyclone and yeah. maybe an A ultimate. But, uh, oh no, he already used the windwalk. Yeah. No, it'll be okay. I he needs to be careful. Beastmaster looking to try and chase him down here, and bounty hunter shows up as well. Oh, he's he's. <laughs> this is not Dennis. looking good. Dennis shit show. Please run. He will run. Uh oh. He's still lurking. No, Dennis. Dennis, please. That's that's the level one sure can toss at 19 minutes in. Okay. Look, you got to max that shadow walk for that <laughs> bonus damage. Okay. Uh oh, Sentry Ward on the ground here. Hovel dipshit has got his his boy Dennis. Oh, back. big plays by Hovel dipshit. Wow. Well. Survives on 70 HP as well. Cubert looking to chase him down with the Shuriken maybe, but even Shuriken wouldn't do enough damage. Yeah, this is. I would have just earlier, but it's only level one. And okay. Where's our Sunstrike by our Invoker? Zoe? Yeah, come on now. Keep your eyes out. Has Invoker got the Yules yet? No, not quite. Meanwhile, our intrepid hero, what's he up to? He's got Arcane Boots. He's got 1200 gold, so that was a huge, huge gold boost for him with that getting that triple kill. I think he ruined a, a couple heroes' kill streaks as well. 
Uh, Naga Sime was 3-0. and I think Tink Tinko was also 3-0, and so he ended at least two here as killing streaks. Well, if you fight under the wards, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah. And they just, like, l they just, like, took a nap under the wards. Snorlax really living up to his, lame, his name there. Baldurk now deploying an Observer Ward. Qbert's going to go in with 290 HP. That would be unadvisable. Yes. Baldurk has got the three points in Aether Shock now, so... He's ready to go. Can just farm some jungle here as well. He's just going to group up top. Are they going to start looking for towers here? Go for a bit of a push at the top lane using those Serpent Wards, maybe. You know, guys, I'm just thinking there's really good news for our dire, our dire team here, which is that Zoe is running out of Exhort skill points to use. So he, he'll he be forced to take points in Quas and Wex pretty soon. If only he could take... Uh, he's probably thinking, like, I wish I could get some actual stat points here. That would be kind of interesting if you could just, you know, like, ignore one of your stats and just choose yeah. to get, like, 20 points in Exhort or something. Imagine if your Sunstrike did, like, 900 pure damage. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. But, as, yeah, as a result, you only have one point in Wex at level 25. <laughs> that would be unfortunate as well. Oh, that, I, would, that would be cool. I would, yeah, I would be a very unhappy player. freedom of choice. Uh, I think a lot of players are... He's always quite happy right now. He's cruising around, sitting at 1-1-1. One, one, one. Yeah. It's 85 CS. He's almost got his uh, Yule Scepter up. And then he can't miss. This Snorlax is hot in his trails as far as last hitting goes. It's actually a really nice item this game because you can just yules off the track, so it's yes. quite effective. Well, Cubert is uh, directly in the middle of the enemy team here. They haven't got uh, he any wants sentries. Baldurk. He wants Baldurk, but Baldurk running back towards his team. He's going to get Roar and <laughs> just, oh, poor Baldurk off with his head. Now your panel comes through, and this time Ayla come back. Ain't getting out of this one. Gara on the run. Are we going to see some sick micro skills? Zoe, no, it's Qbert on the chase. And Zoe just eats a Riptide to the face. Still Panda fighting strong. I don't know if he wants to stay here, though. He'll go right on Qbert. He gets off the boulder toss in time, but now Dennis Shit Show comes back. It's a Shit Show. He falls. Get away from Meanwhile, the serious attempt. He threw a result, but he wasn't there. And I think the real issue is this ca this hard carry uh, Havel Dipshit, who's been doing all the he heavy lifting, just couldn't be there because there's no tier 1 to TP to. Yeah. He <laughs> the hard carry. He's, he's doing all the heavy lifting in this yeah. game. Hovel dipshit. Look, he's made he's made some big plays to help out his boy Dennis. Shit well, there show. was the one glimpse where he glimpsed the hero to safety bottom. Yeah, yeah. That, aside from that. No, no, he's he's been in the right place at the right time uh, a lot. But he's kind of going to look to 1v5 at the top lane maybe to defend this tier 2. I think he's got it in it. He's had it as weeds this morning. The one thing that's concerning is that there is March of the Machines in this game. Because I feel like our dire, our dire friends may just stand in the march and be very sad. Meanwhile, Garo just casually just gonna face tank the tower and the creep wave. Doesn't get hexed or shackled, but we'll just retreat out. Yeah. That's uh. Well, he's gonna oh. get Sunstrike! Nailed it! First Sunstrike of the game, 22 minutes in. Wasn't really to get a kill or anything, but. By this place, Snorlax has his double treads up. Now the bear is treads as well. There's a glimpse of Gar. He's going to get pulled back in. Hobble Dipshit deploying another amazing static storm. The Son of the Siren will not save you now, friend. They lose one. They're on the run. Dr. Peanut will retreat out. Oh, Papa Drummond, you want to keep chasing him? Drums on cooldown so they don't chase anymore. But those Serpent War Trap on the Tinker securing the kill. This Tinker's going straight full stuff without Boots of Travel. Sad. Well, Standard. He should have just gone face boots to deal with the Serpent Wards. That's, That's true. clearly the way to go. If he had face boots, there he lived, so... Because everyone was slept, it was just the Serpent Wards that killed him off, so... Oh, well, the Static Storm. Static Storm did a lot of damage yeah. there. And well, Baldur's almost got a mech as well, so he's doing uh, pretty well for himself as far as farming goes. Yeah, Baldur's just a pure Radiant's team player. Tower Defending towers, helping out his team, not stealing kills. Getting a lot of assists already. Well, he's got quite a few deaths here, but three assists, four kills. Meanwhile... I heard a Sunstrike. Oh, it was at the top rune on a basically full HP hero in there, it looks like. Standard Zoe. I've never liked people named Zoe, anyway. You don't like Zoe Deschanel? I'll make an exception for her, maybe, but... Eh. Yeah. Yule Scepter is up, though. This is a key item. This is a Tide Turner. Oh, I want... Game changer. I want to see him mess up this combo. With the way he's been playing so far, he'll find a way to... To miss these sun strikes, I, we haven't even seen the the chaos meteor yet. So he's got the max out exor at level thirteen, a build you should never, 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 never do. But I like I like max exor. It's a very legitimate, well-rounded build. Well-rounded is uh, <laughs> not a word I would have used for it. <laughs> the definition of not well-rounded. Yeah, Baldur's gonna have max suit, and at that point, I feel like they'll actually be in a decent shape for these team fights. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're behind by about 5k gold right now, so uh, they're still in a bit of trouble, but they also need the Blink Dagger on the Panda, get that, that Brewmaster Blink ulti off. Brewmaster does have these level 2 ulti, which is a lot more powerful, and looks like even though they're behind, they want to go for a bit of a push I think here. at this point you just go full race car Panda, you know, get your Yasha, get your Mantra, your SNY, and then into a Yule Scepter. Just right-click to win. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, Gaur's still, uh, well, he's maybe he'll go Boots of Travel now, because he's already got his 4 stat. But Maybe. This is rather unfortunate for the Radiant Squad. Brumas on the front lines gets a clap down. Dr. Peanut in some trouble here. Brumaster pops an ultimate. And this AA brings Boom! Down the now the media rolling over the top. Huge damage. Raise your Sunstrike. On the run. Still no Sunstrike, though. I, I'm not sure. And it would buy Static Storm, but the tower will fall. And now the bear. Uh -huh. It's held in position. Oh. The Sunstrike comes through. Gets a creep. No, you can't actually hit creep. He now. has Yule Scepter. He's still not choosing not to use it. Just chilling in the middle of the fight. Yule something. Yule something. No, I'll just kill the bear. Wow. Okay. I don't know if he knows this is an activatable item. They did. Uh, they win a fight at bottom lane, but it was while Bounty Hunter was off farming. And you know, Bounty Hunter, if he goes for that Admiral Bulldog Aghanim Scepter build, I think he may be able to take this late game for the Radiant team. Absolutely. But Baldur has his wards, though, and that's going to mean this tier 2 falls if he chooses to deploy them, hanging on to them for now. Judicious with his ward usage, but may, may drop them soon. As for Zoe, he's not taking points and costs as soon. He will have two Ford Spirits against his better judgment. Meanwhile, at the tower, they do Yules up the bear. They cold snap it up. It's held in position now by the cold feet, and it will go down. Baldur still holding onto his wards. Oh, now a track hobble dipshit. He's caught in a horrible prison with your bounty hunter, but a big save by Stretch Armstrong himself. Living legend Baldur turns it around. Oh man, now we're on the run. Dr. Peanut's got an ulti if he wants to lock him in place, but there's a hex. There's also a send back hobble dipshit. He's on top of it. Roar from the sides here. They bring down the Disruptor, though, and Beastmaster on, on the run. run. Zoe, Yule Scepter. There we go. Look for the Sunstrike. It will fly. The Cold Snap too late. Ooh, that was close, though. Decent attempt there. Now Dr. Peanut being Cold Snap. Zoe and Baldark working together. Now a Ghost Walk to retreat out. And in the end, Baldark still has his wards. If they dive this, if they dive this too far, oh. could be bad. He's got wards. Maybe almost minor for a Shackle here. Not quite, but... Zoe Dr. slowing Peanut. Dr. Peanut down. Dr. Peanut doesn't care. Still chasing. Oh, wow. By the way, he had song for all of that, but did mm -hmm. not use it, I believe. Look, they, they they killed Hovel Dipshit anyways, and never in Hovel Dipshit right now, the uh, the big big carry play for this diet team. I think he's been the most impressive. Aside from Baldur. Yeah. Baldur's actually saving it. Bald it should be Baldur can Hovel Dipshit here. I, I think we need to get rid of Dennis Shit Show. Yeah, let's let's go full DK here and just keep two the two best players and Get rid of the other three. There's your Sunstrike Yule Scepter combo at long last. Zoe nails it. Now your Static Storm comes in. And no, no Static Storm yet. Just the auto attacks. Song, and he might wow, live. He's is got there a glimpse? AA ulti is not up. And the glimpse. Go. Oh! <laughs> Just when you think you're out, they pull you back in. From long range, Dr. Peanut brought back and killed off. And they did it without Dennis Shitshow, who now has his blink. Look. I, Dennis Shitshow can have like all the items in the world, but I don't, I don't see him carrying this game. So this is I believe in Dennis. This Shitshow. is all on the uh, the Hubble dipshit and Baldrick all Future aboard. train. The the yeah. Hubble dipshit express. Yeah, <laughs> all aboard. What exactly is a Baldrick? We'll have to ask him if he if he actually watches this. Maybe he'll tweet at us. Right. Well, Shrek for the win was very happy. Sweet. Uh, with our our broadcast. That was a good train. game. We maybe uploaded a bit later. That was a fun game to cast. So. And and games lost, which is always fun. <laughs> no one, no one, no tears were shed for that loss. And for all the people who missed the uh, some of the Q pad players. Meanwhile, down to shit show in all sorts of trouble. The rockets come through. Qbert, well, did not now Me? use his track. Dennis blinking away. Dennis shit show stepping his game up. Yeah, he gets out of there. Meanwhile, it's Baldwin and Co pushing the bottom lane. They've got the serpent wards. Do they just draw up them? No, don't need to. Hang on to those for a rainy day. Now the sun strike. The meteor comes through. And yellow comeback, pushed to the boundary, but not allowed out. Serious attempt or with another kill secured, and Baldark not using his wards yet. So you know the, yield, the yields from Zoe can actually set up a ward trap if you want to uh, go that route. That's so. pretty next level. But I, I don't know if these two are quite on the same page with each other. I don't even think anyone's on the same page as Zoe. <laughs> Zoe has some uh, next level sub Zoe's in a different book from the rest of the players. Yeah. And so too might be Gara. Is there a glimpse available? It's already been used, Gara. Cold snap, but four staff will keep him safe on the backside. It's Serious Attempter. Slowly being brought down by Q-Bird, but Havel Dipshit looking to drive him off. And Baldur coming in, looking for a kill. Will anyone engage? No. No, they will not. Well, Q-Bird, not 
he's got come this, back in? He's got this max out Shadow Walk, so he's invis for days if he wants to be. Unfortunately, his actual damage is pretty unimpressive with the sh <laughs> forced in by Gara. The mm -hmm. chase is on. Let's go, Q-Bird. Track deployed, and <laughs> now they'll just run away. Get in there, my son. Get in that ass, man. I'm not getting in that ass. So now, 29 minutes in, our gold lead is 1,000 gold for the Radiant. It's tipping towards the dire side. Our heroes are coming back into this game, gods. Yeah. I believe they're going to do it. I have faith. Yeah, in uh, Baldurk, we trust. Kills even, gold even. And, and uh, also in the fact that they choose the game, so they're going to choose games that they win and we trust. Well, if we just, just make, it could just be an epic game, goes down to a Thurm race, and maybe they lose it, and he's like, look, I want to give him a good game to cast regardless of uh, the fact we lost it. Oh, is this back when Armlet Bear was in buff? Because it's so sad that he's not getting an armlet. I think it was. I'm, it depends how long ago this re replay was. I'm not sure. He's going for a Maelstrom for the time being. Armlet Bear got fixed a long, long time ago. This replay is pretty old. Okay. Some of these replays we got like four or five months ago. Okay. But the games are oh. still great in spite of it. Yellow come back. He's cold yeah. speed it up. And he's brought down with ease. That wasn't, like, you've got a Yules. You're meant to be killing people with, like, Yules, Sunstrike, Chaos Media. But Zoe's like, okay, I'll just use Cold Snap. Got him. What? Got the kill? Yeah. Stop flaming. What? I, <laughs> I will never stop flaming. <laughs> as long as there's breath left in me, I will be flaming, LD. It's the caster's meal ticket. <laughs> flaming constantly. Gara though, he's in trouble. And now the Forced cold snaps out. come through. Massive damage pumped out by Zoe. And the kill has been locked in. Baldurk will rotate back towards mid. No, he'll stop. He'll hang out next to Dennis Shitshow. But now he's on his own and this looks bad. We need a big war trap here. Else Qbert's gonna have him. Meanwhile, Dennis Shitshow in the river, but keep your eyes on Baldurk. There's a kinetic field deployed, there's a panda ult deployed, Baldurk. Trying to hope his way out of here. He needs to drop his wards quickly. He does not get them off, but he does get off a nuke. And all on the retreat is Snorlax, just sending his bear to follow his hero while q -Bird tries to run. He gets Boulder Toss brought down. Dennis Shitshow really stepping his game up in game one of this best of one. And with that, they get themselves a T1 tower as well, and it's on. Right now, the comeback train has fully left the station, and Team Boulder, I mean, he pays for it with his life, but his team win a convincing battle in the top lane. Choo-choo! Now they're pushing top. How far will they go? They've got a level 4, uh, or sorry, Glimpse available, but not choosing to use it yet. I think they can pick up some additional kills here if they're just a little more aggressive with the Glimpse. Radiant's top oh, tower is see. under attack. I, I gotta say, Snorlax, the micro skills have definitely waned from his earlier start. Now a blink in, a clap on to Dennis Shitshow, turning this one into a Shitshow. Now a deafening blast, and AA ult. Massive damage, Snorlax on the run. I think he might barely live, but Dennis, standing strong. Zoe, plinking away. Where is that Sunstrike? He doesn't have cooldown yet, but it's coming soon. Out of Yule Scepter, did not use it. Now drops a secondary Meteor. The bear running back into it. The bear goes down. Oh, That's he like almost died. The eighth bear oh, death of the game. So close to killing him with that. Yeah, he's got a sun strike too, but A ult. Uh, did, well, did he just throw A ult? No. No, it's on cooldown. Didn't, didn't use the Yule Scepter there. Oh. Well, they're going to get out with a T2 tower, so nice victory for uh, Team team Boulder. Baldur is saving his strength for the more important fights later on. Yep. That's what I believe. He's up to level 13 and getting more and more farm, so... Is that thinking about that Aghanim Scepter or something, and... We're good to go. No, this is a Dagon game. What about Dagon? Every game. Shadow, Shadow Blade. Every game's a Shadow Blade game. That's that's the other item that is good on every hero. Yes. Along with Hanamitis. Those are like the three items that are... <laughs> I like how random units just start levitating as the game goes along. Now the frozen sigil is up in the air. This is such a beautiful error. These are plague wards, <laughs> by the way. This is... Oh, this is actually Invoker. The heroes, oh, the heroes are fine, I guess. These, we don't have the, the flying pig. Uh, that made me sad. I, I had a actual try to check it out, but the Beastmaster's pig is not flying. These are mega ranged creeps. They're rather weak, I must say. They're also not very ranged. <laughs> I guess that's the bigger issue, isn't it? <laughs> but Zoe's on the prow now, and he's got an Aghanim Scepter. Perfect, because he's shown those yeah. lightning reflexes, really. All right. Isla, come back. Invis, and he's looking for Zoe. Is he gonna go? You know he wants to! You know he wants to! Three heroes. Come on, come on, Ayala. This is do it. E easiest do it. 1v3 of your life. Do it. Clutch or kick? You could find... No, nah, even Baldur's got the mech. No. He's he's just getting some scouting info. You better be keeping track of when that invis is wearing off, because... 
We do have Son of the Siren here, and Dr. Peanut's gonna walk right in, then he's gonna start taking some nuke damage. He's still trapped, he pops the song and he retreats. Now the axes come through, hitting absolutely nothing. Still the song goes, still the song goes, nobody taking damage. Roar still available though, now the real fight breaks out. Snorlax caught in the middle of it. Balder gets roared, but have no fear. Mech is here, he could pop it. He doesn't need to, glimpse back, but in spite of it, Baldark will follow him once again. Shackles him up. He starts taking Bounty Hunter damage. He needs to mech. He needs to use his ult. He does drop his ult. He's going to live. He backs up. He can mech his team up and turn this fight around. And he will. And with that, three are dead. And our dire friends are marching on oh, the base. Oh, just Naga Siren alive. And Naga Siren with uh, no sleep. Also, also the Tinker alive. But Tinker doesn't even have boots to travel. So he can't even get back and forth from base and back to team fights fast at all. So Bolduck on the back of that with some big plays there. He's going to get his team a tier 2 tower as well, and suddenly they're pulling very far ahead here. That was just a perfect bait. Waits until the last possible second to drop the ward to pop the mech. Baldurk means business now. Oh yes, uh, it looks like they'll back off for the time being. They've taken every single outer tower on the map, and well, they're looking pretty hunky-dory here. Look at this golden experience graph. It's just nice. a vertical plummet. Our Radiant team, their morale is probably somewhere around here right now. Lone Druid still trying to build any useful items. Kind of hard when your bear is treads. Agility treads. Nice. Just gonna get that basher up. Yeah. Whatever it may be. Yeah, treads are uh, a suboptimal item. On yeah. Bear. So you, in a way, you don't get the, uh, the bonus agility. Yeah, you don't get the stats and... Yep. You get the attack speed, you get the movement speed, but you could just get boots and then a gloves of haste if you really want to get some extra attack speed. Aye, aye, Captain. They look cool, though. The shirts. They, they certainly do. You don't like the brown boots? All these Merlini-isms have, like, I, I, it's caught on. Brown, I, I started saying brown, brown boots. Booties. Brown booties. Shadow friends. Shadow friend. Triple lane. Instead of trialing, he says triple lane. Which is just a dumb way of saying it. Yeah, it's, it sounds it sounds ridiculous, but... I started saying but it every he's now and then. So we, yeah. we have to respect it in spite of how dumb he's, it is. He's an old veteran. Yeah. Wow, Baldurk, so intimidating that five heroes see him and decide not to go. Now, he will get back to safety and he's got help. Shadow Shaman's here, glimpses back. Isla come back. Who roars Baldurk on the way out. Now they descend on him, but he's got his ult. He's got the, the mech as well. If he gets it off, it could be huge. He goes for the shackles. He doesn't have mana for his ult. Oh no, without Baldurk, our heroes cannot possibly win. Or maybe they can. Dennis Shit Show. No ult, but he's got a Blink Dagger available. In comes your song, but the Meteor burning Dr. Peanut as he follows its trajectory on the way out. He's low. He's not dead yet. Where's that Sun Strike? I think it's Where cooling down. And glimpse the, as well. Glimpse the is coming up in on three the hunt. seconds. They got Glimpse. They, they need got Vision. Dr. Peanut. Sun Strike. Just kidding. As though Zoe would hit that. Well, Dennis Shitshow delivering here. Tinker as well. Uh-oh, you gotta be careful, man. There's a Gold Scepter and a Cold Feet. Yo. Did not Cold Feet first, but... Oh, that was actually Zoe's Gruel Scepter. And now they'll get it right, and down will go Gara. No way out for him. The double Yule. Yule's, just Boom. Has, Yule's Cold Feet is a pretty nasty yeah, combo. Yeah, I love line. that. But oh. it does mean you need an HR Apparition on your team, which... Yeah, not a hero Currently that. is not the strongest hero in the game. Yes. This used to be like a top tier support hero. I don't know what happened to Ancient Emperor. Well, back at TI1, Denny would run a mid, but that was with a pure pool of like 40 yeah. heroes, so... Even in Dota 1, like, it was a viable hero for a while, like, people were doing, like, your AA dual lanes and... We saw people experiment with it in Dota 2 as well. They'd, uh, do the AA tri lanes recently since yeah. they changed to Cold Feet. I want to say the hero did get nerfed at one point, which was, which was partly it, but... Yeah. I can't remember. Like, that would have been a long, long time ago. Either way, Isla, he needs a, he needs a buff because Dennis Shitshow Ooh. is just clump, absolutely stomping him down. And now, Hubert in the middle of the fight. Let's see. What they can do. Well, they drop a sentry. They want to try to bring down Cuba, but he's going to make it to the high ground here. Baldock has sentry wards. Uh, sorry, the uh, serpent wards if he wants to try and push this middle lane, which I think they should just go for here. The Radiant Squad. They'll try to turn around. They go on Baldock once again. Get your wards down, man. Get your wards down, man. He does. Beautiful wards. Now a static oh, storm. Man. It catches everyone. Meteor over the top. Dr. Peanut falls. And Havel dipshit. He starts lifting when Baldurk needs a rest. Triple kill for him. Our intrepid support Oh, and he duo. gets the glimpse onto Gara. What Gara a gets brought back in. This will be your team wipe for Team Baldurk. They lose three, but they take out the entire Radiant squad. Baldurk laid the foundation, and Hovel dipshit built well, the house. Yep, yeah, he built the house, and they've got themselves a fantastic abode at that. And now he's got a Necro 3. I and love now. this this disruptive play. Uh, I'm liking Hovel dipshit. I'm liking it. It's also such a good name. Look. These Static Storms have really been on the mark, though. Oh, like, yeah. They're just like tanking Static Storm to the face. 
And now Havel dipshit, he'll try to retreat out and he'll TP away. So now Necro, Necro 3. This is scary with the Serpent Wards as well. Just so much general stuff yeah. to throw at towers. Beastmaster, Ayala. Ayala. You can't fight these plague, well, these plague wards. These oh, Sunstrike, YOLO, Sunstrike, oh, misses, misses uphill, misses uphill. He's not even microing. He doesn't even realize he was killing the Beastmaster, I think. Because <laughs> he just changed target. If he'd, like, done some, like, stutter step fo to follow the the uh, Beastmaster, he could say kill. Oh, he just invoked Sunstrike. He's gonna throw it at the fountain! <laughs> it wouldn't have been enough for the kill, I don't think, anyway. Would have been close, but... Yeah. Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. All right. Well... What next for them? They're 40 minutes in. They may be going to consider Roshan here, it looks like. Meanwhile, yeah, if they, if they get Roche, they can just... I mean, it's always got a heart. So. Yeah, I just <laughs> saw that too. <laughs> yeah, this invoker is pretty hard to kill. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting data. Those. Boulder getting close to that Aghanim Scepter as well. So then we can see some really powerful pushing power coming out from uh, this Dire team. Yeah, I agree, and this is a great siege item for Zoe, so completely legit build from Invoker. Just take some damage, back off as your Invoker, and heal right back up. He doesn't have any orbs, though, or at least, no, I guess they're just not showing. Now he triumphantly invokes something again. Now a Meteor, there you go. That's what he's after, the Sunstrike Meteor. Just needs to hit a Yules, and then you invoke quickly to get the Deafening Blast up, but... It's, they are going for a push here, so forget Roshan, they're just going to man up and say, we don't need that extra life, we're not a Chinese team. And now it's time for Baldrick and friends to look to breach this Radiant base for the first time this game. Can they do it? They've it's going to be tough. They've got the bubble hands up. The but cold, I, the cold, well, not the cold feet, the, the chilling touch. Uh, but I do believe in them, gods. I believe oh, in yeah. them. They can't fail, not with the heart on Zoe. In comes the march, the prep begins from the Radiant side, they're going to try to hang on. There's a the root to start things off, and now your panda all comes out. They've caught Q-Bird, but he runs out of the, the kinetic field. Will end up escaping. Now the song deployed by Dr. Peanut does not affect the pandas, though. They are treated as magic immune, and now the boulder toss comes in. Dr. Peanut, he's caught. He's pulled back in, and he will go down. Another big glimpse from Hobble Dipshit. And still, the wards are available. This could be two lanes of racks, and this could very well be game. Yeah, he's saving them. They'll get this first lane, it looks like, even without using them. He's going to go in on Gara here. Big oh, Blaze, War Trap, the Ball Dark, easiest kill of his life. But Dennis show sh Shit Show will okay, chaos it in the end. Look, I'm being. I don't like your behavior, Dennis Shit Show. Yeah. Please report him. <laughs> Can I report him? It was an old patch, right? <laughs> Can't report him. We should sell the report up to him. <laughs> well, bottom Raxes go down then. With the Necro 3 and Ford Spirits, they've got all the summons, Serpent Wars as well, they just push so damn fast. Meanwhile, top lane, what's Ayala up to? Okay. Split pushing Beastmaster with an, an Ags, and oh, he's gonna get Sun Strike, that's gonna hurt. Down to about half health, but still standing strong. Meanwhile, the Dire says, let's go for the throne, let's go for the jugular. There are no wards here, but there's also no Glyph. Raiding here is respawning slowly, but the familiars, or rather the uh, Plague Wards, <laughs> the Ford Spirits doing work. Zoe continuing to blink away here, should be using uh, his alacrity, is not, but who who cares now, unfortunately Ancient Apparition using his chilling touch, which just slows down the push, but here's the real action, it's a meteor breaking out, as well as a kinetic field, Dr. Peanut will drop, sadly, Havel Dipshit is not pleased with his death, but he will be pleased with his end result, Baldur cleaning up here, left, right, and center, and top the throne, are gone though, they've got to get this thrown now, they've just lost top, lost top the they don't understand how much trouble they're in, uh oh, now Team Baldur Look, I said we may be headed towards like an epic base race, and we're kind of getting to that point here. As they're all in trouble. Now they get some, they're going to get triple riptided. They're all going to melt if they decide to engage. I don't think Naganoshi can turn off her ult. She definitely does not. Does. Oh, he gets the Brewmaster ult oh, off, though. No. Oh, Still, Beastmaster going for the base, the Radiant Squad. If there's nobody on the dire side coming back to address this, this Rona, could end in a total disaster. There are massive numbers of buybacks available though. Invoker, Panda, Disruptor, they all have buybacks. None of them using it. One tier, four towers down. Now Isla come back, he'll start working on the huts. Yep. Gotta get that gold. Gotta get that value. Might oh. end up going down to Zoe. Zoe, oh. he's got this. Let's see him. Can he get the combo? Sunstrike? Just needs the Sunstrike. No. Well... Okay, Ayala just fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Ayala, please, please come back to the real he world. He didn't get the hut. Shit. I... Now they're screwed. Nah, I, but look, if he'd got that hut, I would have put my rares on this Radiant Easy team. Easy rares. But that hundred and, what, two gold or something that you get from killing them? You should be able to bet on pub games. 
have like an inbuilt rares res betting inside Dota 2. <laughs> inside of Dota 2, yeah. I like that. I guess Dota 2 Lounge wouldn't like that, because then Valve would be stealing all their customers or all their ad views. Look, you, like you join if you join a game to spectate in the first five, like let's say like five minutes, or whatever, and you can bet your rares. I'd be, I like that. Meanwhile, Serious Attempter is seriously selfish. He has 17 urn of shadows charges. This should not happen unless your team is winning, like, I don't know, 40 to 10 or something. Yeah, if you're not giving up any kills or taking any damage. But they've died a lot here, so you should have had plenty of chances to use these urns. Could have saved our boy. Well, game on. Like, this looked like a dire kind of sided push that was coming. They were, I mean, they were pushing, they were getting Raxes, but then they just let Beastmaster do his thing at top, and suddenly this is anyone's game. Well, now your Scythe device comes out, then finally hard carry Zarya will emerge, 190 CS, 45 minutes in, by far topping the charts, and looking to find some big kills. Havel dipshit, Necro 3 cools down, and I believe our Radiant heroes are just going to go for a, fi a five-man push top. Yeah, uh, it does look, look like that. And they've got Havel dipshit off wandering on his own, maybe worried about a Roshan here that he wants to check out. Yeah. And we'll drop a kinetic field on the pit, and then he'll walk into it. <laughs> Look, if, they, if they're in there, it's like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just check this out. <laughs> no problem. I got this, guys. Easy. Meanwhile, though, Dennis Shitshow, he's got a Reaver, he's got a, a Vitality Booster. 3,000 health with evasion on this panda. Good luck mm. killing him. Everyone's just so taking the dive. We've got 3k plus on the Invoker, the panda. I guess the other three are fairly squishy Intel heroes, but even Shadow Shaman is sitting on 1500 HP. And 11 armor. Disruptor 1600, so... Meanwhile, they will find the Bounty Hunter. The track is in, and now the Meteor goes the wrong way, and Bounty Hunter runs out of the Kinetic Field, but they still see him. I think they might have some sentries down here. Yeah, Indeed, three, I believe they yeah. do. Necro 3. And now Isla, he charges in one by one, our Radiant Squad, throwing away that opportunity they had to come back. Two will fall. A crit to finish it off. And now... The immediate end it please comes out from Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Go mid please. Look, I gotta say, Zoe... In, invariably, when somebody says that, the other players furiously defend the base. Yeah. They mount like... <laughs> it's, you'd think it was like their hometown being burnt to the ground. I gotta say, Zoe missing another combo though on that Bounty Hunter. Un unimpressed. Meteor went the wrong way, Sunstrike looked to be off the mark, and yeah. generally just very unfortunate. Well, Glyph is up, and like you said, they'll defend this to the bitter end. <laughs> GG, please. And it please, he says. I love that. Thank you, Dennis Shitshaw. Yeah. That's, that's, people need to be called out when they do that. <laughs> if you're going to call for a team to end it, don't fight. Just accept your loss. Well, the counter push is coming over on the Radiant side. This creep wave needs to be dealt with. Tinker is going for a counter throw. Is, are there TP's back even? No, they don't need it. They're just going to win the game right now. The wards get dropped by Baldur, and the uh -oh. fight is on. Dr. Peanut does deploy the song. The uh -oh. Dire Throne starting to drop down to 3,700 HP, slowly ticking down. The song will be ending soon. It comes down to a base race. The Radiant Throne falling pretty damn fast. The Dire Throne falling quite fast as well. It looks like the Dire are gaining the advantage here. The Dire Throne still alive for now. Dennis Shinsho, he gets roared, but in the end, it will be uh -oh. Baldur and friends who prevail. Justice prevails. That was close, man. I was worried for a second there from Baldur. Like I'm like, look, this guy's setting this replay. Surely it's going to be a game where they win and he does well, but that was down to the wire with that throne race. There are some nice war traps this game, I got to say. Whew, some clutch plays. What a game. Whew, what a player. That Baldur. I got to say, that was, that was something, man. And with that being said, uh, Baldur, thank you once again for supporting us, and uh, you're the man. Yeah, we had fun. I like I like casting uh, these uh, I would pub games every now and then. I would love to like see a replay of him now because I'm sure <laughs> it's been like four or five months. He's probably much better than he was. Like even if you just look at, I remember I actually played with Period Flax and did some like educational videos when he was really new to Dota, yeah. which are still on my YouTube channel. If you ever bored and want to check them out, uh, on, on his as well. But yeah, it's like night and day. He's actually a good player now, or at least a yeah. decent one. So, all right. I imagine Baldur has improved as well. Cool. Well, uh, well that, that does it for our uh, kickstart video for today. We'll have another one tomorrow, I believe, if we have time in between the, uh, the two Ace Dota 2 matches. But we've got LGD vs. VG Gaming coming up next, so sweet. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, LGD China vs. VG Gaming, the highlight of today, will be live.